Hey guys, welcome to an Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can convert some of your construction script into C++. So if you've seen any of my previous 2D tutorials, you'll notice sometimes I go into the construction script and I lock the Y axis to zero. This is just to make it a bit easier for, to drop the actor in the world. So if I do that now, if I go into the one here, base actor that has that code already embedded, you can see on the Y location it defaults to zero. If I do it on the sprite actor, it does exactly the same thing. The only difference is, under the, the first one, the base sprite, it's doing it in the C++, not the blueprint. So without further ado, I'll go into that now. So for this tutorial, I've created a new 2D side scroller C++ project. Um, if you have a look here, you can see 2D side scroller CPP and it should have its own C++ classes. So what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to mess around with any folders, I'm going to go into here, right click, new C++ class, and I'm going to choose Actor. Hit next. I'm just going to call this Sprite Actor. Create the class. Okay, so it's done a hot reload, and if you go into Visual Studio, you can see the new header file. So, next stage, we'll start to populate this. Okay, so for the header file, we're going to add a property, and we're going to add a function into it. So, just underneath the generated body here, we're going to add a U property. And what we'll do is we'll do the forward declaration first. So we'll type in class. We want to be new paper sprite component. Point to sprite component. Asterisk is denotes say point to. And what we're doing is we're forward declaring that. So that this basically has a, a sprite component attached to it. And then what we'll do is while we're here, we'll just populate the your property as well. So we can add it into a category called Sprite Mesh. And then press a comma in, we're going to make it visible anywhere. We we'll have it so that it's blueprint read only. And we're going to make it have a, a meta. So it is in fact a private variable, but we're going to allow private axis and we're going to set that to true okay make sure we've got the parenthesis right add another bracket so the next part we're going to add another method now this actual method is going to be overridden from the base actor and I'll show you a little bit about that so if we just select public actor hit F12, uh, control and F, and I'm gonna just type look for on construction. And as you can see here, this is the method that we want. So I'm gonna hit, we're just gonna copy this. We don't need the curly braces. We're gonna go back into a header file and just under the tick function, we're gonna add that in here. And as you can see, it comes up with the squiggly line. So what we'll do is we'll quickly right uh, click that quick actions and refactorings. And we're going to create a definition in the sprites at the CPP. And we'll close that for now. But as you can see, it's it's populated the uh, into the, the source codes for that particular method we just added. So in the next part, we'll uh, look at populating the .cpp file. Moving into the .cpp file. We'll just quickly do Control Shift and S to save, and we're going to go into the constructor. So the first thing we need to do is we need to populate the sprite components, and basically, so that we can set it in, in a blueprint. So we've got sprite components equals create default sub object. It's going to be a new paper sprite components. Mesh. 
And while we're here, we'll set the sprites to the, the root components. So, at the moment, that's currently failing because it's not compatible. So, what we'll do is we need to include it. So, includes, this is going to be a paper sprite components. So, if you just go here, you can see it on, in the drop down menu. And that, that's updated then. Intelsense is uh, happy with that. So the next method is the on construction. So first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to call the super on construction. Let's call the base methods. And I'm just going to pass in the current transform. Underneath this, you'll actually start to see what we can well, the, the blueprint will start to make sense once I start typing this, but I'm going to declare a vector and I'm just going to get the axis position or axis location. Oh, I forgot to put the brackets on. I'm going to set position dot y equals zero. set the actor location and I'm just going to pass in position that's let's keep it let's keep the type a bit more consistent so capital P for position and there we go control s now it's time to compile the code and fingers crossed we won't get any errors but here we go Okay, so the code's compiled, no errors there. So, what we'll do is we'll now go to the next part and we'll test this actor to make sure that it works. So for this I've created a folder called Blueprints um, so that we can create, derive a Blueprint of the C++ class. So we'll do that now. We'll go into, onto our Sprite Actor, right click, create Blueprint class based on Sprite Actor, I'll select a blueprints folder and I'm going to call that sprite actor bp underscore bp create the blueprint class and as you can see here it's got a hard coded sprite component because it's written in C++ and for this we'll just make the source sprite the ledge hit compile there's no blueprint needed in the construction uh, strip, so I'll just demonstrate that in seconds. So we're going to drag this actor out, and when we do, you'll notice that the wire is set to zero, as per the on construction method here. So that brings us to the end of the video. Um, so that just gives an example of what you can do with the C++. Um, the main reason you might want to do this, in particular for the, uh, making it a bit easier for designers, is um, you could literally drag this actor in and they don't have to worry about making sure that the, the play is on the right plane. So they're not going to jump onto this ledge and they'll just fall through based on an orthographic camera. Um, so I hope you find this useful. Thank you for watching my video. And if you like what you see, please subscribe and like, and feel free to leave a comment below if you have any feedback or suggestions. Take care guys, goodbye.